familiar with Mariachi El Bronx. How would you describe your music? How did it come about? I would describe it as, as traditional mariachi music, you know, it's, it's very heartfelt. Um, it's, it's a music that we really, really care about. Um, it's, it's a little on the uh, softer side of life, you know. Um, we have a punk band called The Bronx, and it's a very abrasive and aggressive uh, style of music that we play in that band, and we kept getting asked by radio and, and TV stuff to kind of do stripped down acoustic performances of it. And that really wasn't anything that we wanted to do. You know, we kind of have a vision for that band, always staying the way it is, always staying aggressive and loud and, and angry. And um, we tried to figure out a clever way around it, and we ended up doing a version of a song called Dirty Leaves on our second record. We did a version of that mariachi style for, for Fuel TV. And that, doing that, you know, really, uh, it really inspired us. It was, it was something that you know, really couldn't get enough of, and we just started writing, writing new songs. And uh, you know, before you know, we had a, a first record, and, and now we got a second one. So. Explain your last album. How did it differ from this one? Uh, the musicality is, is, is pretty up there on this one. You know, we were still trying to figure out what we were doing on the first record. The naivety is, is gone a little bit. You know, but uh, it's, it's been replaced with, uh, with a lot of skill. There's just a lot more confidence and, and a lot more excitement about what we're doing on this record. And your album cover, it's really a non-mariachi? Yeah, Except for yeah. the dude on the that's, front? That's our friend Kellen. Um, he's, the brass he's, knuckles? Yeah, he's, he's the man. Uh, you know, we went down and we actually had a Han Cholo design these uh, mariachi El Bronx necklaces. And we used that for the photo shoot. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a close-up on, on Kellen's fingers. It, it's pretty legit. It was Joby's idea, our guitar player Joby. He's kind of the art guy in the group. You know, he designed the record cover and all that stuff, so. What's your favorite thing about playing in a mariachi-style band? Um, singing. I, I, I really do. I, I really do love singing. And uh, I don't really get a chance to do too much of it in the other band because I'm screaming my face off. So it's nice to kind of relax and, and sing some songs. 48 Roses, is that like yeah. an ode to all your many lovers? <laughs> uh, yeah, in, in a way I guess you could say that, you know, it, that song is kind of about a, a guy who really, really wants to be a, a player, you know, he really wants to be a playboy, but he just sucks at it, <laughs> you know, he sucks at it, he can't juggle his women very well, and um, there is a certain amount of truth in that. Uh, about 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 myself. Um, Revolution Girls is that about a mamacita you met on Revolution Boulevard? In uh, TJ? Yes, yes, absolutely. That's uh, you know, it, like as as a native Californian, you know, is that like those trips that you take into Mexico when you're young? Um, you know, it's like a rite of passage thing. It's such a it's such a beautiful beautiful time. And that song, I, you know, we try to kind of capture that idea of going down to Mexico for the first time as a young man, and and you know. Experiencing Revolution Boulevard with the you know the spray painted donkeys and the, the drugs and you know the tourists and then the, the underbelly of, of prostitution and, and just you know I, I heard actually I haven't been back to Tijuana in so long I used to go all the time and I haven't been for about two years and I think I'm gonna go back in about a month when we get off tour I'm gonna go spend some time down in Mexico um, and I'm looking forward to it but because I, I heard Tijuana is like there's kind of like a renaissance going on down there now, like as far as there's new clubs and bands are going down there a lot more and playing and stuff like that, so I'm kind of excited to go check it out. Since the Bronx and Mariachi El Bronx are two totally different <laughs> genres yeah. and music styles, have you had any fans that didn't embrace the Mariachi music or vice versa? You know, you know the crazy thing is I, I thought that was going to be kind of a big deal and it's really not. You know, it's like when we started the Bronx, we, tried as much as we could, uh, you know, banging into the heads of people who, who liked our band that we're going to do whatever we want to do musically. And, you know, it's like, because if you, if you do something creative as, as a lifestyle, if you limit yourself, there's really no point in, like, you know, living that way. So, you know, we want to be able to write whatever we want to write and do whatever we want to do. And, and I think our fans respect that. And, uh, you know, they get that about us, you know, I mean, there's people who don't like the mariachi and there's people who love the mariachi and have no clue that we've been a punk band for 10 years. You know, there's been times when like a mother will come, because we did, we did a whole tour of the U.S. opening up for ourselves, El Bronx opening up for Bronx. 
and we'd have like mom show up who loved El Bronx and you know hated the Bronx and the daughter would love the Bronx and hate the Miami. It's really funny, man. So far, I think people get it. You know, our, our fans are pretty smart. Do you speak Spanish? Hell no. <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn, but that's one of those things. You know, it's like I. It really, you know, separates us doing doing mariachi music in English, and we really want to be careful with this stuff, and we take it very seriously, and it, it comes from such an honest and, and loving place that I don't want people to think that we're making fun of the culture or making fun of the music, because it, it really means a lot to us, so, like, I don't want to try to sing in Spanish and just butcher the language, you know what I mean? Like, I want to know what I'm doing before, before I jump in there, but it's coming. It's coming. Nice. You guys seem to have a very good, um idea of what like the culture is and the history and how their lyrical content is based on like life and love and yeah. hardships. How did you come to knowing all that? Uh, I was born and raised in Pico Rivera, California. Ah, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to Pico, Rosemead, Lakewood Boulevard. So Telegram. you were the white boy in the hood? I was the white Mexican. That was me. Nice. Uh, that was me. Growing up, all, all my friends were Hispanic and you know, Vince who plays in the band. Uh, his dad is, you know, plays guitar and sings in Los Lobos. And growing up around that family, and um, you know, in, in Pico and in the city, it's just kind of even in Los Angeles. I mean, the guys that, that weren't born here, I mean, it's just kind of all around you. You know, it's like, you know, if you live in California, it's like, you know, you, you got to be aware of the, you know, Mexican culture. It's just, it's, it's too awesome to ignore. So, you know, it's just, it, it just kind of seeped its way in. Very nice. So, uh, random question, what's your poison? Uh, vodka and uh, tequila. Margaritas, I like casadoras and uh, I like doing shots of Patron. As much as I sound like white cliff, <laughs> I say that, you know what I mean? If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Oh, my spirit animal is a grizzly bear. Yeah, I have a certain kinship with the bear, you know? And, yeah, never mind, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. What do you guys have coming up next? You have a big tour with the Boot Fighters. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of chaos from here on out, you know? The record came out today, and uh, we're doing these two record release shows at the CETA. Uh, we play Jay Leno tomorrow. We leave for Europe on Friday, doing a bunch of shows over there for a month, ready in Leeds and all that stuff. A couple festivals in Germany, and, and in the middle, we're going to Food Fest for the first time, so that'll be cool. Um, and then Food Fighters after that, two months in the States. And then we do a headlining trip back over to Europe up until Christmas. And then we rest and kind of rest our bones and, uh, and hang out with the family and, and uh, enjoy being at home. And then once the, uh, once the New Year starts, we'll be back at it again. Very nice. Anything else you wanted to add? Uh, I just want to say thanks. Thanks, people, for checking us out. Thanks for the interview. Right on, you know, Mariachi El Bronx 2. Get it! <laughs>